All right, so today is the day of the luncheon. Yes. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling, I, I've been excited about it for a while because we're, first of all, I just wanted to see all the women in their hats. I mean, I think that's the story. Yes, yes. Now, UNCF launched their A Mind is a Terrible Thing to Waste campaign over 40 years ago, encouraging African-American students to attend college. Now, we know that Dr. Maya Angelou was a huge supporter of that campaign and an advocate for a positive education for all. Now, why is an education, a college education, so more important today than ever before? Well, first of all, nobody even wants to look at hiring you if you don't have a college education. And it doesn't matter what it's for. If you're just going to be sitting on the desk answering a phone, it's hard to get a job sitting on a desk answering a phone Have you, if you have not had a college education. Because what the college education says is that you have had the discipline and the rigor to go through four years of preparing yourself as an adult to be a part of the working environment. And so, I mean, I, I have to say, I don't know how anybody in today's world is gonna survive without a college education, being right. prepared for it. Right, right. Mm -hmm. You think about your relationship with Dr. Maya Angelou mm. and all the philanthropy that she's done. How had that inspired you? Well, I think like long before, listen, this is, this is the way I live my life. When I first moved to Chicago, I was 30 years old. And the first thing my father said to me was find a church home. So you leave home and my, that, that, that's what I did. And the second thing uh, that was instilled in me is this idea that when you get give. And so when I first moved to Chicago, I was making like $225,000 a year. I thought, oh my God, this is it. I don't need another dime. Right. And um, long before I was making the, in, in the six figures, I was making like $22,000 a year when I started out as a reporter. And with $22,000 a year, I still have checks for $22.80 that I made every week and tithed. So $228 every week I made and I would tithe. 10% of that. So I have always believed in this idea that when you get to give and that to whom much is given, much is expected. So I didn't learn that from anybody but my grandmother and was raised to do that my whole life. So Maya was one of those people who also did it. So tithing doesn't even just come with money, as you know. Tithing comes with your time and your service. And um, you know, one of the reasons I'm here is because Tina Henry asked me to be here. And I wanted to fulfill um, my, my commitment in service. You know, every year I give so much time or so much energy to something that's you know, bigger than myself. And so this is one of those times. We're so happy to have you here. Thank you so much. Inshallah. And we'll wait for <laughs>